Anyway, we're talking about the rise of far-right female influencers, a decade of hate. Let's take a look at this. This is going to be my favorite. Traditionally, the far-right has been a male-dominated and often openly misogynistic space. Feminism is cancer. Thank you very much. But in recent God, years, he's so good. At least on the surface, something has changed. Idiot. At its core, feminism <laughs> is ideological poison. Across the world, women have emerged as key figures in far-right movements, playing a central role in softening the image and broadening the appeal of extremist politics. They are absolutely crucial to spreading the ideology, but they are also crucial to spreading the ideology with a smile and making it seem palatable. It was women that got Trump elected. And I guess to be really edgy, it was also women that got Hitler elected. <laughs> Across the US, <laughs> a new generation of female social media bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Rafems anti sex work? Aren't they anti capitalist? What? Radfems? What do you mean? There's plenty of fucking Rafems that are anti sex work because, like, there's different kinds of, there's different types of radical feminism. Like, they could be, there are anti sex Radfems too. And also, Radfems usually are pro capitalist, not anti capitalist. There's also anti capitalist uh, swerfs as well. It's just, it's a never ending uh, L sequence when you consider that uh, she was complaining about how fucking sexist the right wing was uh, to her. Uh, it's just, uh, there's something that I am reminded on this wonderful moment. Uh. Are emerging as figureheads of far right movements. If you get permanently banned on Twitter like I was, do not start a new Twitter account. How does surf tie, tie into anti-capitalism? It's just anti-sex. That's it. That's where it You'll comes just from. build up your platform again and get kicked off again. Just move to Gavin Mines. In Italy, the far-right politician Giorgia Maloney has just made history. Tonight, Italy is preparing for its first ever female prime minister. In France, Marine Le Pen, head of the far-right national rally, has established herself as the leading rival to President Emmanuel Macron. Le Pen is known for her far-right stances, like restricting immigration and banning Muslim women. Bro, what are you talking about? Radical feminism is explicitly anti-capitalist? Yeah, all those fucking trans-exclusionary ra exclusionary radical feminists and all those fucking sex worker exclusionary radical feminists, like, they're all so anti-capitalist. No, man, a lot of fucking rad femmes are not anti-capitalist at all. What are you talking about? It's like, it's like peak girl bossism. Uh, when you when you think about uh, how what the most like popular most visible aspects of radical feminism is, it's like girl boss fascism for the most part. Yeah, North Korea or socialism, Lamau. Um, first of all, don't you dare disrespect the Democratic People's Republic, especially when I have two guests that are honorary guests of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Okay. And secondly, who cares what they call themselves? I mean, they are rad femmes, though. Those people are. They're not even feminists in most cases, so I get what you're saying. I get where your anger is coming from. But, like, you know, there are plenty of radical feminists in that group as well. They, Or at least they believe that they're deriving it from feminist theory. You're right in the sense that you are hyper-focusing on it. I already said there are anti-capitalist swerfs as well. Like, you're, you're hyper-focusing on it by saying they're not real feminists. I agree. It's like white feminism is not real feminism. Do you understand? Why would you get mad at that? Rad Femcel? Yeah, well, Rad Femcel also memes a lot. Many MLs are swerves. I know. It's, it's, it is what it is, you know? I mean, there's like so much exploitation that occurs in that industry on top of uh, the, the uh, sexual nature of the work. So uh, it breaks a lot of people's brains. Like the sex component makes it extra fucking uh, difficult to deal with uh, from their perspective. I just don't like the rad femmes kind of shit on in leftist spaces when it's explicitly leftist. Yeah, rad femmes shit on in leftist spaces because when you add a fucking qualifier to feminism, it just automatically turns into something fucking weird. The only qualifier that you want to add to feminism, which is a redundancy, should be intersectionality. It is inter It is a redundant thing to say that you're an intersectional feminist. But unfortunately, as a consequence of all these other fucking weirdos that have put these qualifiers, that's the reason why the moment that you tack on anything to the fucking... Uh, when you tack on anything to uh, already, like, an appropriate designation, that means you are for equality. Just, you're feminist. That's it. Uh, 
Also, a lot of rap fans do uh, behave like psychos. Let's be real. Uh, I'm the only normal one, and everyone else is abnormal. And if you're in here and you agree with me, you're also normal. But, uh, you know, that is the that is the unfortunate reality, the truth that you cannot escape. Okay? Sorry. Get mad at me all you want. It's fucking true. There's lots of literature on, like, Marxist feminism, though. Yeah, of course. Nobody tell them. Yeah, shut up, Weeby. Go watch some more Bill Maher from wearing headscarves in public. Have women actually become a secret weapon for the far right? <laughs> women on the far right have emerged as major social media presences, becoming leading influencers of the radical right. I blame feminism for the reaction to what's going on and for the perpetuation of what's going on and why this migration, this mass migration into Europe has gotten so bad. Lana Loktev made her name spreading racist and anti-Semitic conspiracy theories through the white supremacist media channel. Pick me women are so funny because they're like, they're trying to be picked by the grossest dudes with undercuts, dude. It's like the undercut automatically like makes you look a little bit better, no matter what, okay? Just a little bit. But unless you're a fucking Nazi, in which case it just somehow makes you look like a fucking Nazi and way worse. Okay. So all you're doing when you're, when you're playing pick me for these motherfuckers is like, you want the sweatiest, most bitch titted, gross, unwashed fucking Nazi to be like, wow, I can't make, I can't wait to, to bed you and give you the literal most disappointing three seconds you've ever experienced in your fucking life until I inevitably push aside all of my problems and then cope with them by drinking and domestically abuse you until you fucking finally cheat on me down the line. She runs with her husband. Let me run through a few other European classics coming out that replace the main white character. Loktiff has been clear about the unique roles she believes women should and should not play within far-right movements. Although I think women are too emotional for leading roles in politics, this is the time for Oh, by the way, every single person that they've shown so far is like straight up a fucking Nazi, like uh, for the record, just make no mistake. If you're like, oh, they're saying great displacement, like that's a Nazi dog was like, no, 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 they're like actual Nazis. Like some of these people openly identify, <clears throat> sorry, some of these people openly identify as Nazis. Yeah, this was so funny. Alt-right women are upset that alt-right men are treating them terribly. <laughs> oh! Remember a newer version of this happened when all the fucking uh, TERFs were mad that, like, uh, you know, men were taking over their talking points? Like, they were like, there are plenty of... <clears throat> there are plenty of TERFs that actually wrote extensively on the transphobia subject. Uh, we, you were not the first, Christopher Rufo. You were not the first, Matt Walsh. And they were like, shut the fuck up, bitch. That literally was their answer. Like, they got... The, all these, like, conservative terms were literally like, oh, uh, actually, we wrote this first. And most of them turned around and said, shut the fuck up, bitch. Get back to the fucking kitchen. Women should not be writing. They should be cooking for the children. Literally. And those dumb motherfuckers still end up unironically pushing that agenda, no matter what. Why aren't you barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen? Female nationalists to be loud. Why? Men. <laughs> Women have a special power to inspire and motivate men. If this you know, traditionally attractive woman with blonde hair and, you know, a red lip. It somehow isn't, it's supposed to seem less odious when they talk about, you know, white superiority, but it's about putting up a, a certain veneer. It's also absolutely uh, about recruiting. Like, isn't that Jared Taylor? <laughs> oh, so gross, dude. Ew. Ew, <laughs> one lip only. Oh my lord, dude. Oh my fucking lordy. Ugh, just so fucking gross. 
No, I'm sorry, but terrorists come very close to deserving their misogynistic oppression. 100%. Dude, what do you mean? They literally are actively trying to make it. They are actively trying to make the world more oppressive towards women, which includes themselves. Of course, they fucking deserve the, the shitty bed that they made, you know what I mean? Now sleep in it, dumbass. Yes, it's certainly true that the presence of women uh, kind of humanizes and uh, also almost justifies a movement. Yeah, it makes so, it... Like, these are... Chat, again, like, these are like Nick Fuentes-style Nazis. Actually... Nick Fuentes would probably say, oh, no, those guys are old Nazis. Like, we're not like them. Like, they're these are just, like, super old-school white supremacist terrorists. Uh, of course, free speech. It's softer to hear. It's easier for people to hear a hard message when it's a, a soft, good-looking woman saying it. It's just yeah. showing the ways in which, you know, there's actually more familiarity, more similarity, um, you know, between... You know what the far right believes and what mainstream conservatives believe um i think is really crucial there's one key demographic in particular to whom female far right influencers appear to have a special appeal and that's other women the majority of white women voted for trump so i think the media is trying to spin it that oh my god all these women are feminists now i think the majority are not feminists and when you actually talk to women and say well what does that really mean you find that the majority of them are actually quite traditional the irony so um yeah there are a lot of women who are not feminists i wonder why um where could that come from i mean you could literally this is like a like a like a gender studies class you know what i mean it's like gender uh critical gender studies 101 or something like it, it literally is the exact same thing that you learn in college if you ever take a course like this. Yeah, because of the patriarchal construct. That's the reason why that is so powerful that uh, women have internalized misogyny. You can also be traditional, I guess, um, and, and want to do traditional uh, uh, gender roles, want to play like traditional societal gender roles or whatever, and still be a feminist. And and offer that freedom to other women and fight for other women to have the freedoms to not do that. That is kind of the point. That's why I always say anti-hijab laws, especially in the Western world, are not feminist. They're anti-feminist. Because especially if you're in a, a predominantly Christian nation um, and you still choose to wear the hijab, like why the fuck is the government telling you you're not allowed to do that? You're still controlling women's choice to uh, want to wear a hijab or not, you know? <laughs> it's very, very stupid. You must wear a bikini. Laws in France are insane. That's just very French. That's all you got to say. <laughs> the point of feminism? Yes, exactly. Um, the point of... Uh, Wait, where is it? Fuck. You said a really good... You, you really... Ha! Ah, you had a really good uh, point. The point of feminism does not exclude you from making a traditional choice. It is to give you the option of choice. Exactly. Exactly. But of course... But of course... Um, ultimately... The... The... Uh, unfortunate reality is that um, a lot of people end up getting completely caught up in the right-wing framing of this conversation. The, they get completely caught up in the right-wing framing of this conversation and like some people unironically believe the memes almost where they're like, no, feminism is about like being non-traditional. Like, no, that's not. Pro-choice means if you don't want to get an abortion, we're not going to fucking force you to get one. You don't have to get an abortion if you don't want to. People who want to get an abortion, which can in many instances be a life-saving medical treatment that should be easily accessible and free, then you can get an abortion if you want to. That's the, that's the entire point and perspective around pro-choice. But right-wing makes it seem like pro-abortion activists are not just about... They're not just fighting for pro-choice, but they're like literally trying to hold 
white Christian women down and fucking forcibly make them abort their, uh, you know, babies. Yeah, the right are much better at reframing and then forcing you to defend a reframed issue rather than call it out as reframing. Yeah. He is that Loctif and other far-right influencers spend much of their time railing against the feminist movement that won women the right to a public political voice in the first place. I think of women back then not being able to vote and having the whole one house, one vote. If some women choose to be anti-feminist due to patriarchal societal structures, can then same not be said of a hijabis who choose to wear the hijab, but have been influenced to do so by growing up in a patriarchal religious structure? No, because wearing a hijab and wanting to cover your head can be a fucking personal decision that you are making. That's why I even qualified it by saying in Western nations, okay? Because especially in predominantly Christian nations, it's like you can uh, you have the the opportunity. It's still ultimately about bodily autonomy. If you want to fucking if you want to practice your faith in that regard, you can do that. Every Westerner that is trying to have a conversation on this issue is talking to a Turkish person who benefited, in my opinion, from laicite in Turkey in original Turkish development, okay? Like, I, I, I understand that. Secularism or enforced secularism in a predominantly Muslim nation, uh, in a predominantly Muslim nation, still had de devastating long-term uh, damage, which is part of the reason why now, as a backlash to that, you have the Erdogan regime that is so fucking strong. There's a difference there. There's a distinction there. A lot of Muslims will get mad at me for this, for even saying this. But even then, especially in Western societies, especially in Christian societies, like, you can absolutely... Um, you can still absolutely fucking uh, do whatever you want. The choice is similar to wearing a hijab and wearing a cross, but when women make choices, it's always political. No, when Muslim women make that choice, it's like extra political too. For the Catholics in the chat, you would never make a requirement for women to wear veils in mass if they want to because people can practice religion the way they fucking want. It's Islamophobia. Yeah, like, you don't have this fucking, you don't have this take for, like, Jewish people that want to wear the yarmulke. You know what I mean? Gideon responded, he said, he has not. Like, what are you, are you going to tell me that Ilhan Omar, like, it is so weirdly um, patronizing when you immediately see a, a woman wearing a hijab and you make the assumption that they are somehow being forced into doing such a thing as a consequence of like oppression and they're still under that oppressive influence like you're you're taking away their autonomy and you're doing it for some wonderful b brilliant women okay Ilhan Omar being an example and then maybe not as uh, wonderful or brilliant uh my moderator Morgan who is uh also a content creator <laughs> I'm sorry, Ilhan Omar and then Morgan? Like, I have to qualify it. You know what I mean? Like, I can't go from Ilhan Omar to be like, my ovaries want to get sucked like boba. And, and, and be like, you know. <laughs> Still wonderful and brilliant, just not at the same level as Ilhan Omar, okay? <laughs> Yes, Ilhan Omar and, and Frogan, famous for uh, who up late night playing with they worm. Frogan going to be mad? She's going to say it's Islamophobic that I'm pitting two strong women who wear the hijab against one another because I'm a gross, uh, gross Islamophobic man. Okay, that's what she's going to say. That's public health expert Morgan for you, okay? Anyway, let's continue. Vote thing. Why would you marry a man who wouldn't vote in your best interest or you wouldn't agree with politically to begin with? They sort of position themselves or they have this posture of, as a woman, I can speak to what feminism really is. Women who feel threatened by it, women who don't see a place for themselves 
they think that feminism has made the world a worse place. They think that it is ultimately an anti-woman project. They also describe partnership and motherhood as, as political action, because when your whole project is about guaranteeing the future of whiteness, fulfilling all of that is a matter of politics. Awesome. All right. That looks great. Now this is complete. You're done. You've got this cute ad-friendly makeup look. Figures like the Canadian alt-right star, Lauren Southern, operate as independent, empowered entrepreneurs and consciously use the same social media strategies as other online influencers to build their following. Underestimated the amount of people that were going to be here. I said there was only going to be a thousand. There are thousands. Hey, it's someone who watches the channel. How's it going? Alongside the anti-feminist rhetoric from influencers has been the growth of an entire online subculture known as Tradwives, who actively reject pursuing their own careers or independence in favor of raising families and submitting to their husbands. Do don't listen to this narrative of feminism that is killing white Western society. Don't buy into it. The trad movement is um, this movement to celebrate women who are in traditional roles. You are creating content that celebrates, that, you know, highlights how good the trad life is. It's making traditional gender roles seem appealing, seem cool, seem a part of the future. But if you really spend time with it um, and you look at some of these, you know, Instagram accounts or TikToks, what you'll realize is it's as much about what it's against as what it's for. Thank you for not being ashamed to be traditional, to be Christian, to be conservative and to be white. I'm feminine, not feminist, <clears throat> right? And so seeding these ideas that you know you want to be like me um you know look how great my life is children love me men love me like look how celebrated i am in comparison to right you'll start to see the ways in which being trad is also about being anti something not just pro-tradition but anti-progress no role could be more important in the far right than being someone who is willing to uphold a society of traditional gender roles and to have children and raise children within, within that society. In Europe, two examples stand out of female politicians leading far-right parties to mainstream acceptance. In France, Marine Le Pen took over her father's far-right anti-immigration party in 2011 and immediately set about trying to soften its hardline image, taking it from the margins to become a major opposition party. Je contrôlerai l'immigration et rétablirai la sécurité pour tous. Far-right movements and parties, first of all, are highly strategic, and secondly, are highly opportunistic. Women are essentially a tool to that end. Women are seen as having a better entree into that process of detoxification. There will be in these immigrants. I like how they have this specific code for clothing and hairstyle amount. This is a very fun US like thing. Oh, yeah. You could just tell. It's in America, especially. I can immediately tell when, when a lady, when a white lady is like conservative. Actually, every, everyone, really. It's terrorists. Marie Le Pen is a very smart and adept politician. She wants to project racist ideas to potential voters, but she also sees that there's a boundary. And if she goes too far, that would start costing her voters. Marie Le Pen! Adding voters. The Pen has even tried to co-opt feminist arguments, pitching her anti-immigrant rhetoric as a defense of women's rights. A day after the allegation. Dude, that is the most French thing I've ever seen, dude. God damn, French people love burning down everything like every goddamn weekend and just freeing the titties in protests. It's awesome. It's just the most French thing, dude. They love they love freeing the nipples and and burning shit down in protest, both in protest. How are you the oldest of song when you have such a younger, youngest sibling personality? You being an older brother only comes out when you're talking to Marat, but the rest of the time you act like a youngest sibling. 
and I know is the oldest one. That is the most parasocial thing I've ever heard in my entire life, dude. Like, literally, that's crazy. I, I, I don't even know what that... I don't even know what the, what the energy is there. ...of mass sexual assault were made public, Cologne continues to search for the perpetrators and for answers. I mean, they're On right, though. I don't know what that means. ...large numbers of women were sexually assaulted by groups of male immigrants at celebrations in Cologne and other German cities. Far-right parties immediately seized on this to amplify panic about the so-called European migration crisis. Yeah, no, famously, like, famously, like, white guys do not do any sexual assault. It was, uh, it was, a, it was a unique predicament uh, caused by uh, <laughs> migration. Before migration, zero sexual assault. Crazy. Since that year. An estimated 1,700 white wing demonstrators protested Germany's liberal immigration policy after more than 20 migrants were arrested for allegedly assaulting women on New Year's Eve. <laughs> not zero, but it was lower. Yeah, dumbass, because there's more people. Like, not because they're more brown people. There's just more people. Have they not heard of Italians? I was going to make that joke. I didn't make that joke. I'm just reading you making that joke, okay? Population increase. <laughs> Le Pen herself wrote an editorial claiming that immigration from Africa and the Middle East was a threat to women's rights in Europe. The fact that Marine Le Pen uses women's rights in some arenas and doesn't use women's rights in other arenas is a perfect example of how that's an opportunistic strategy. It's a tool to say, I want to attack ethnic minorities. I'm going to attack them using this tool. In Italy, there's been a similar process of female-led detoxification, with Giorgia Maloney leading the far-right Brothers of Italy, which has roots in Italian fascism, to become the largest party in parliament. Moi, je crois que, que Mussolini, c'était mm. un, un bon politicien. The 45-year-old firebrand insists she's no fascist, just a proud conservative and nationalist. And <laughs> unlike Marine Le Pen, Georgia Maloney doesn't use feminism in order to gain votes. I see the woke ideology. Will we surrender in front of this? In fact, she openly rails against modern feminism, instead championing so-called traditional family and gender roles, despite herself having faced the stigma of being an unwed mother. Si a la familia natural. <laughs> No, <laughs> that's the best part hey listen women can have a little hypocrisy as a treat you know what i'm saying that it's always it's like lindsey graham I'm just gonna leave that there nothing else to add to that just lindsey it's like lindsey graham think about that you infer whatever you want to infer out of that you know what i mean i'm not saying anything but you know Maloney's, like virtually all far-right politicians, extremely contradictory. Some parts of feminism work for her as a politician. At the same time, absolutely interested in using anti-LGBT, anti-women's rights, anti-welfare for immigrant rights rhetoric when it suits her. Very important to realize that women are not politically a monolith now or, or in history. We create a, our own peril by failing to understand how central women can be in the far right if we have blinders on that make us think that. Why haven't the crime rates rose in EU countries that didn't accept as many migrants, though? Genuinely curious. First of all, what? <laughs> okay, one. When a population increases, okay, uh, crime rates, not necessarily crime rates, but like crime will increase. Population means more crime. More population means more crime. Okay. But you also made this part up because crime, as complicated as a concept it is, is a consequence of numerous conditions. Most important one being uh, social, uh, uh, socioeconomic conditions, your material conditions. They are the primary predictor of crime. Okay. 
people do crime. And usually it's poor people doing the crime. Some might even say that society is designed to criminalize poverty. I would agree with that. Okay? You're just basically saying, everyone's doing crime, I just want white people to do it. I don't like it when, you know, brown people are doing crime. I want the country to maintain its whiteness. That's it. Not like a like a brown people thing. It's a it's a thing. It's a people thing. It's a poor people thing. And if you were to say, for example, this is every light race in the EU. First of all, there is no such thing. That guy, if examined a, a, a little bit further, will prove to you that he is not a light racist. If you ever want to find out what like a like a European guy thinks, uh, if you ever want to find like an EU guy. Uh, being raised, just ask them what they think about, uh, you know, travelers, uh, uh, you know. And and they will very quickly tell you, you know, how they feel about people. Is every light racist, bro? I literally live here. No, I'm just saying he's not light racist, brother. Maybe he might be light to you, but I don't think he's <laughs> he's light. <laughs> the hatred of Romani people is so prevalent in the EU. Ask any EU person online how they feel about them. They'll vomit an essay about how it's not racist to forcibly remove them from their hometown. I think one of the funniest parts is like of this conversation that is like lost upon many chatters who immediately brought up the immigration question, right? Is that the people that are saying like immigrants are raping our women, okay, are also saying something else that you're not hearing, which is they only should be able to rape their women. Like they're not against the raping of women. They just don't want people from other countries doing it. You know what I mean? Because, like, these motherfuckers literally are, they're, they're, they're trad in the, in the most, like, negative way. Okay? What do I always say? It's, it's the same concept. It's as old as time itself. Conservatives hate conservatives from other countries for their conservatism. When Ben Shapiro talks about like uh, Arab nations, Muslim nations, and how oppressive they are towards women and the LGBT, I'm like, bro, you're Ben Shapiro. The fuck you mean? The fuck are you talking about? Do you know who you are? You're Ben Shapiro. Meanwhile, the people that blame us poor people when we commit crime are okay with the same crime when his rich corporations doing it. I steal to eat. I'm a bad person when they steal for money. They're smart companies. Yes. You know? Far right is a man's terrain. Can you back your claims with stats, Mr. Streamer? About what? The raping rate among the immigrants is the highest? Well, there are plenty of stats depending on what you're talking about. Which, by the way, what an unhinged fucking take, dude. There are plenty of stats to talk about. When you talk about immigrants within the EU, for example, you literally are factoring in, like, people that are immigrating from... Well before Brexit, England, people that are immigrating from Germany, people that are immigrating from different parts of Europe, okay? So a lot of uh, weirdness there because, yeah, a lot of these countries within the EU, because they have, uh, you know, the, the Schengen visa, uh, have open borders, and therefore they're, like, they have a pretty high number of people that are not... Am I just answering a literal Nazi? Casper 31P. Oh, he's doing the we was, we was, do per capita, Lamau. That was the least racist EU chatter. Yeah. Mostly false. The refugee crisis made Germany more insecure. 